Welcome back to the review report. Today, we have an exciting product to talk about, the Asus ZenBook Pro 14 OLED. This laptop is ready to cater to your gaming needs, keep you entertained, and even handle pro-level design work. Let's dive right in. Let the Asus ZenBook Pro 14 OLED may look ordinary at first glance, but don't let its appearance deceive you. It's packed with a wide range of capabilities. However, I must admit, it does come at a price. The high-end model, which I'll be reviewing today, costs 2,099 rupees, while the lower-end model is available for a more affordable 1,799 rupees in the US. The UK pricing for the lower-end model is yet to be confirmed. Now, let's talk about the design. The ZenBook Pro 14 OLED has a sleek metal casing, topped with Gorilla Glass for added durability. While it may not be the thinnest or lightest laptop out there, it's still remarkably portable, weighing just 1.65 kilograms and measuring 17.9 millimeters thick. The keyboard of the Asus ZenBook Pro 14 OLED is a standout feature. It offers a deeper typing experience, reminiscent of Lenovo's popular ThinkPad series. The keys feel substantial and are a joy to type on, with the exception of the slightly loud spacebar. The touchpad also provides a satisfying mechanical click, similar to the ones found in the Lenovo ThinkPad and Microsoft Surface laptops. One unique feature of the touchpad is the dial pad. Located in the corner, it allows you to access shortcut tools by scrolling around the dial. You can customize its functions per app or even use it as a mouse scroll wheel. This could be particularly useful for tasks like video editing or audio production. Moving on to connectivity, the ZenBook Pro 14 OLED offers a good range of ports. It includes Thunderbolt 4 USB-C, USB-C, USB-A, HDMI 2.1, a headphone jack, and a full-size SD card slot. The SD card slot supports fast read speeds, perfect for photographers and users of SD size memory cards. Just keep in mind that it doesn't read CF Express cards. Now let's talk about the display. The Asus ZenBook Pro 14 OLED boasts a high-end OLED panel with a resolution of 2880 by 2800 pixels. It delivers exceptional color depth, and the pre-installed My Asus software allows you to choose the color gamut that suits your needs. Whether it's native, sRGB, DCI-P3, or Adobe RGB, you're in control. Under the hood, the ZenBook Pro 14 OLED packs a punch. My review model is equipped with an Intel Core i9-13900H CPU, 32GB of RAM, a 2TB SSD, and an NVIDIA RTX 4070 graphics card. These specs offer workstation-like performance in a portable package. You can comfortably tackle video editing, 3D modeling, and demanding professional applications on the go. Gamers, rejoice! With the RTX 4070 graphics card, the Asus ZenBook Pro 14 OLED is more than capable of handling high-end gaming. Although it's worth noting that the laptop grade 4070 falls between a desktop RTX 3060 and RTX 3060T in terms of performance. Still, it delivers a smooth gaming experience. Now, let's talk about battery life. Asus claims that the ZenBook Pro 14 OLED 76 Watt hours battery can last up to 10 hours on a single charge. While I haven't quite reached that mark, it does outperform many other workstation laptops, lasting around 8 hours during moderate usage. In heavier tasks, like browsing with multiple tabs open, the battery life may decrease. So, it's important to manage your usage accordingly. Wrapping it up, the Asus ZenBook Pro 14 OLED offers a wide range of capabilities, from gaming to professional grade work. While its design may not be the most exciting, the laptop's performance and features more than make up for it. With a stunning OLED display, powerful components, and thoughtful touches like the dial pad, Asus has delivered a versatile and portable powerhouse. Thank you for joining us on this review of the Asus ZenBook Pro 14 OLED. If you enjoyed this video, 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to the review report for more in-depth product reviews. And as always, feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Until next time, happy computing.